guys, hello Philippines. I am a singer, enjoy your voice again. It is in front of you right now to continue um, discussion of you know toy chemistry, uh, chemical calculations. Okay, before we are talking about the the multimol ratio, gram to mole ratio, multigram ratio, like that. Um, getting the relationship of the molar mass, uh, atomic mass unit, molecular weight, and we need to determine that in order we can solve for the required amounts of reactants, amounts of product like that. And then we know that the total mass of the reactant is equal to the total mass of the product, total number of amounts of, of reactants is the total amounts of the product. Like that, just take that to that. The total number of atoms in the products was the total number of the reactant, and that okay, we can solve. But now I'm going to discuss another thing, which is the present yield. Okay, the limiting reactant and the excess reactant. Okay, so the present yield will be the actual yield over the theoretical yield times 100%. We speak about the excess reactant, meaning to say, if you have a given mass of the reactant, okay, uh, the reaction, then it will be subtracted to the mass obtained in a chemical reaction calculation, and then if the product after subtraction is not negative or still have an uh, excess amount of the reactant so that is the excess reactant okay now the limiting reactant is the reverse okay so if you uh, obtain the the limiting uh, the reactant the computation like that is let's say uh, you have the amount and then the actual mass of the reactant minus the theoretical or let us say that from the calculation that mass of the reactant were computed so if it is negative the product or so it's not passable so it means it's being used up already in the reaction so it can no longer proceed the chemical reaction because uh, it's already consumed so that's why it's negative okay so like that so in getting the percentage yield actual meaning also given the chemical reaction from the start okay and then what will be the theoretical based the chemical reaction theoretical yield the sufficient that actual number of theoretical times when I something like that so in getting the uh, percent yield you will always base it to the limiting reactant okay the smallest amount okay will be considered in the yield okay actual yield Yield. And the actual yield must be in the given most of the time, and the critical yield will be able to compute that one. That's the clue, okay, for percentage yield. Okay. I don't know if there is also actual yield that is not given, but usually it's always given, it's mentioned in the problem. We have to do to compute for the theoretical yield. Usually, something like that. And theoretical yield will be basing on the limiting reactor computation like that. It's understandable, so if it is excess reactant, there's still enough okay, amounts of reactants to be used up in the chemical reaction. And if it is not, it's limiting reactants, so it's already limited, meaning if you, you can no longer use that reactant further to complete the reaction, something like that. Okay, let's have an example now. Okay, so benzene okay, undergoes a combustion, will produce all the process too. First, we need to balance the equation. gosh like this mm. sorry so benzene
benzene plus oxygen gas is equal to carbon dioxide plus water. Balance this, guys, and submit your paper after you balance this equation, chemical equation. Wait for a while, two minutes. Okay. Uh, wait for a while. Okay, this one. Try to balance this one. C6H6, six atoms of carbon plus six atoms of hydrogen are the, the formula of benzene okay benzene balance the equation it starts from carbon okay carbon 6 in the left so carbon also 6 in the right or in the product So we can choose next either hydrogen or oxygen. Let's uh, do first uh, hydrogen. Now, in order for us to understand clearly, we need to illustrate arrow down and arrow up for those number of atoms on the side, a number of atoms for the side that is deficient for the number of atoms or meaning that is ha having an insufficient number of atoms okay, in this case here is sufficient number of atoms so we need to arrow down this side because deficient right so since this is deficient because only two, two carbons at carbon atoms then we have to plus atoms of hydrogen in which we don't know okay like that so the reactant is six atoms and we have two so downside meaning deficient so we need to add it to plus so now let, let x the number of moles okay let x the number of moles of hydrogen okay Let x the number of moles of hydrogen, which is the coefficient beside the hydrogen, times 2, which is the subscript, it's equals to 2x. Okay, and then this is equal to the uh, reactant because in the law of conservation of mass, the total number of atoms of reactants is equal to the total number of atoms to the <laughs> right or left. Equal, sorry. To equal. So, 6 is equal to x, meaning 6 equals to 2x. So, for x equals to x is equal to 3. So, now we will put the x equals to 3 here because we are letting x here, right? Okay, so we'll put the 3 here because we are letting that x is a number of moles of hydrogen beside the water molecule okay. so it will now become 
C6H6 plus oxygen gas is equals to CO2 plus 3H2O. So it will become so it will become like this. Actually I forgot to put six on the carbon, okay? Now I just put sorry for that. Okay. So this is the our new equation. And then balance again. Okay. Carbon six. Carbon six. Balance. Hydrogen six. Hydrogen six is already balanced. Now we go to oxygen. Okay. Oxygen two. Oxygen here is equals to 12 plus 3 is equals to 15. Okay. Oxygen here is equals to 2. Okay. Because of this, so 1 coefficient times 2 subscript is equals to 2, 2. And then here we have for the first CO2, we have the oxygen here is this one. Okay. 12. Okay. And here, oxygen here is 3. So, 12 plus 3 is equals to 15. Okay? Now, which side has an insufficient or deficient number of atoms of oxygen? Here. So, we put arrow down. So, this is deficient, meaning we have two odds. So put plus. So, we need to say this is deficient arrow down. And we need to add number of atoms. We concentrate here. Okay? like this. So we lift the number of X in this side also, which is beside oxygen. Because here there's no oxygen here. So let X is the number of moles of oxygen gas in this side. So X. So coefficient X times 2 equals to 2X. So 2X here on this side equal to the oxygen here in the acid, which is 15. So 2x is equals to 15. Solve the value of x is equals to 15 halves. Okay? 15 halves x, since we are deleting the x number of moles of oxygen, so we need to put this 15 halves here. Okay? oxygen gas equals to CO2, 6 CO2, sorry, plus 3 moles of water. Okay, now we avoid the fractional form. In chemical equation, we need to avoid the decimal points and the uh, fraction. So we need to multiply this both sides to the this common denominator, which is 2, right? Both sides. So, like this multiply both sides by 2 so it will be equal to 2, two moles of benzene plus 15 moles of oxygen 12 moles of CO2 plus 6 moles of water so this is now our final balance equation because this 15 halves oxygen gas the subscript this one, the denominator will be cancelled out. Okay. So that is 15. Okay. And not here, but here. Sorry. Here. The two here and the, the two the two here, not the subscript, sorry. Here and here cancels out so oxygen gas. Okay. Now we are ready to solve uh, two moles of benzene plus 15 moles of oxygen gas plus 12 
most of carbon except plastics and so forth. And then we will need to prove the law of conservation of mass, okay, and stoichiometry in a steady state uh, equation. Okay, so total number of atoms. Don't say total number of moles is equal to the total number of moles for product. Product total number of moles of the reactant is equal to the total number of moles in the product is not equal. You should always total number of atoms in the reactant is equal to the total number of atoms in the product. Okay, let's do it one by one. Carbon. Two times six twelve. Hydrogen. 2 times 6, 12 Oxygen 2 times 15 30 Okay 12 12 Okay Then 4 So in the reactant we have total of 54 atoms And then in the product Carbon 12 oxygen 24 plus 6 and water is 12 so 30 so uh, 42 54 say the total number of atoms in the reactant is equal to the total number of atoms in the product so this is this is also balanced in terms of number of atoms not only for the number of moles okay no, we are balancing the number of atoms not the, the number of moles okay if in the chemical reaction they are given uh, masses or amounts of the substance then the amount of total sub substances of the uh, mass will be equal both sides sorry sapit hindi la so total mass of the reactant is equal to the total mass of the product the same as total number of atoms in the reactant is equal to the total number of atoms in the uh, product that is the law of conservation of mass in the stoichiometry relationship between the reactants and the products something like that okay this is his balance so okay then there's two moles of benzene plus 12 moles of oxygen gas plus uh, 15 moles of uh, co2 plus six moles of water okay like now I have a problem okay a problem 50 grams of benzene is placed in a container with 160 grams of oxygen gas after the reaction 30 grams of water were collected what is the percent yield? How much excess reactant was left over after the reaction? Okay, so you need to input all the given first, and then you have to input also what are being required. What are being required are percent, percent of yield and the mass of the excess reactant left over after the reaction. Okay, so mass of excess reactant left over the reaction so we need to uh, compute for the limiting reactant and the excess reactant so that we can get the mass of excess reactant left over after the reaction okay since we have the given we can do it individually okay so let's do it <laughs> okay so better I will write first the problem. Too much. <laughs> like that. Okay. Oh, I'm tired. 737. Wait for a while. Okay. person yield
actual yield. So this is the formula. Percentage yield is equal to actual yield over theoretical yield times 100. Now the theoretical yield will be basing on the calculation in the relationship between reactants and the products through the calculation or the computation. This is theoretical. Okay. Actual means it uh, automatically given in the problem. So in example if it will yield in the combustion process of benzene plus oxygen gas it will yield water and co2 so co2 and water we will choose uh, these are all the yields and then if the problems ask for the co2 yield then you can compute that in this way or the water yield compute that in this way but it will never be the propane and the I'm sorry, why propane? Sorry for that. Benzene. It could never be the benzene and the oxygen gas because they are all reactants. So it's not applicable on the yield. Okay? They are only used to compute for the yield, the theoretical yield. So uh, the masses or the given uh, reactants shall be used to compute the theoretical yield. Okay? But never we can substitute that here directly the value of the mass of the reactants and the mass of the uh, reactants cannot be substituted because these are all products it's talking about the yield or the product okay that's clear and now the excess reactant so excess reactant is equals to the actual amount of reactant or the given minus the theoretical amount of reactant calculation then if the answer will be positive okay, okay. so this is our excess reactant our excess reactant is the actual amount of reactant okay or that is the given in the problem minus the theoretical amount of the reactant based on the calculation so do not be confused okay like that because the actual amount of the reactant or the given should always be the you know first it should be subtracted to the theoretical amount of the reactant or the calculation then if you can get the positive answer meaning to say uh, you have still an amount to complete the reaction meaning to say it is enough to complete the reaction okay like that so because there is still uh, amount after subtracting this two uh, quantities okay now the limiting reactant will be the same like this but the answer is negative okay
like that. So, the actual or the given amount of the reactant minus the theoretical after the calculation, okay, is equal to if the answer is will be negative, okay, negative answer, negative answer, that means uh, all are being used up already, so it could not proceed to a complete reaction, okay, because all of the uh, reactants are being used up already, there's nothing left, something like that, that's why negative, okay, now if you are trying to, what, what is the mass of the excess reactant left over after the reaction, so it's another thing, okay, so since we have, since we have this equation, it's the same like this, <laughs> since we have this equation, it's the same like this, okay, like that, this is what it means for the mass of excess reactant left over the reaction because normally the problem will not stay what is the, will not stay the mass of the limiting reactant that will left in after the completion of the reaction because it's already limited so there's no more mass of the reactants to be used up because already all are consumed so it should be the mass of the amount of the reactant okay like that to be subtracted by the actual amount of the reactant okay and the, the amount during uh, theoretical or calculation something like that. okay so e of uh, sorry limiting reactant is lr okay the same definition only that the answer will be negative meaning the answer or the uh, mass of reactant or amount of reactant after or left over after the reaction is negative so already is used up like this okay and then positive meaning there's still a uh, amount of substance that being used to, to complete the reaction there's must be left over or something like that so this is the excess reactant positive and negative is the limiting reactant so in computing the theoretical yield no yeah in the present yield the theoretical yield will be based on the limiting reactant not for the excess reactant because it's already above okay that's a limiting reactant we always use the limiting reactant not the excess reactant because we can compute also by referring the excess reactant but do not use the excess reactant instead use the limiting reactant something like that okay okay gosh Okay, what time now? 8.46 or 7.46 in the shop. Okay. Here, we're going to work through a pretty advanced practice problem that asks about limiting